Okay guys, we are back in the i20 and I've discovered how to access the engineering menu in the car. So this car's infotainment is actually based on Android. So it's an Android system. And based on that system, the infotainment engine has a hidden engineering menu. I haven't figured out what, what you can do with it yet. But if you guys do, you can let me know. So first step, start the car, put it on ignition. And you don't need to start the car for this, but it's better to do it, otherwise the battery drains out. So hit Hi, have so, a wonderful afternoon. Don't so once, forget to wear seatbelt. Yes, thank you very much. So back to it. Hit setup. Go to general. Go to, go to version info and update. Right. Here you'll see the software version, firmware version, navigation version, map version. Whatever is the version doesn't matter. Now, interesting part is you have two spaces on either side of the update button. So you take this space, one, two, three, four, five, and one. That brings you to the engineering menu. Now in the engineering menu, you have system software, all-in-one version, system software history. It basically, I guess, it will tell you what is there. USB copy, diagnosis, variant coding, CPU variant coding, module info, care information, DTC for developers, all of this stuff, right? Voice control test, security, all this information is available in this menu. Now, diagnosis is where I like it. So this can start a OBD diagnosis on the car, tells you if there are any errors, you can just start the diagnosis over here and it'll run it and give you an error. Head unit internals, text the head unit functionality, self-diagnosis, I have no idea what this does. It's a self-diagnosis results. So this gives you the results. Okay, so head unit backup, it does some kind of backing up. Internal temperature, choose the internal temperature, factory test, do some factory tests. Go back, so let's see. System software history tells you, I have no idea. All in one version, this tells you the entire version. What is it? What are the various uh, software versions in the head unit? Then variant coding. This is tells you about the various variant. What is enabled on your car? Now you can't this tell you can't disable any of them. I mean you can disable some of them, but you can't turn these off. Like for HD, I can't turn it on. So whatever is not grayed out, you can work with it. But whatever is grayed out, you can't turn on. Right. The system amplifier, what kind of amplifier it has. I guess it, you can do a Harman Kardon amplifier according to this, add to it. CD, I have no idea, external CD, it doesn't have a CD drive, so it's okay. Head unit type, what kind of head unit type is installed. Radio region, don't fuck with this. This is not something you wanna change. And camera, what kind of camera it is. Direct LVM, I have no idea what these two. So I'll read up some more and do some assessment on that. CPU variant coding. I know door, how many doors, others. Like I said, I don't know what this, what are, what else you can do in this. Telematics test, no idea. Uh, simple info, it tells you whatever it is over here. Voice control test, I'm sure using voice control. OPIO, what is this? I have no idea. ADB on Baidu APK. So this is like, you can see APKs. It is basically a Baidu system running on Android. OTA update is for oh, of their update. You can actually manually start the update provided there is an update. So don't play with this unless you want to do an OTA update or the company tells you to do one. Yep. So that is the engineering menu. Now to get out of it, just hit back and you're back here and done. So yeah, that is your engineering menu. I have no idea what you can do with it yet, but I'm sure we'll find out. Some of you will get to work on this and we'll get a good idea how to play with this. And if there's anything beyond the basic vehicle diagnostic that can be of use to us. All right, guys, have fun.